What's going on guys? Welcome back. My name is Dustin and last time what we did is we built this tile map here and just drew out a small little area for us to kind of explore. Um, what I want to do this time is, um, if you notice when we walk over to the edge of our screen, our player gets lost outside of this screen. So what I want to do is I want to give our main camera a new script to kind of follow around our player so that um, it sees everything that the player sees. Um, so I go ahead, I can go ahead and go into our scripts folder. Let's create a new C sharp script. I'm gonna call this camera controller. Wait for that to compile. You can just click and drag this onto our main camera. So now if we go ahead and open this up in Visual Studio, what I want to do is I want to create a variable up here. Uh, we're going to call this public transform target, just like that. And now in our update function, um, we're going to say that our transform dot position is equal to a new vector three. And the three numbers we want to get is our targets transform position. So our not transform target dot transform dot position dot x. For our y position, we want target dot transform dot position dot y and then we also want target dot transform dot position dot z just like that so now if we go ahead and save this script go back into unity what we can do after it compiles now if we hit play um, oh, so we're getting this ref or this uh, error down here. We didn't set the variable um, on the main camera script. So what we need to do is down here in our camera controller, we have this slot for a target. We can just drag our player into that slot, just like that. So now if we hit play, um. What's going on? Oh, you know something? So if I go ahead and go into, I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. If we go into 3D mode, what's happening? So our camera is, Z position is set to minus 10. Um, and if our camera goes all the way down to our ground, it will basically see behind it. And what we're doing is in our script, when we're setting our position, we're also setting our position of our target as well. So I want to just get rid of this and say that we want to keep our the same position on the Z axis as what it's already set to. So our transform position dot Z on our camera. So I'm going to go ahead and save that again, go back into Unity wait for it to compile, and I'm going to reset this to minus 10, just so that it's farther back. And now when we hit play, you'll see that our camera stays in its position, but it's still following around. Now, another thing that I'm noticing here is if we, I'm going to maximize this really quick, so you can see it a little bit better. When we're walking around, Sometimes we're getting, not really seeing it now, but we'll get these little lines in between our tiles. Um, there they were right there. Uh, you'll see them just kind of popping in and out of here, and it's just not very clean. So what I want to do is I want to, in our asset folder, 
Um, I'm going to create a new folder. We're going to call this materials. And inside that folder, we just right click, create a new material. We're going to call this pixel snap. And then on this material, let's see. Um, I want to change the rendering mode, or uh, I want to change this shader to down to sprites and default. And what that's going to do is that's going to give us this little pixel snap um, toggle here. I just want to check that. And then I'm going to go on to all three of our layers here in our tile map. And you'll see that it has a material set right here. I want to just drag this pixel snap material into that little slot. And now, if we maximize on play, hit play, those lines no longer pop up. So, yeah, um, I think that's going to do it for this video. Um, be sure to like and subscribe if you're enjoying the series. Feel free to post a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see in this uh, series. If you know different ways of doing things better, I would really like to know. So, but until then, I will see you next time.